Doctors are expecting more vaccine doses becoming available next month. The FDA plans to meet on February 26 to decide on the approval of the Johnson & Johnson coronavirus vaccine. ABC 17's Victoria Bragg was at that meeting at the State Health Department today. She joins us now in studio tonight. Victoria, officials tell you they expect a large vaccine distribution actually next month. Yeah, Deb, that's the good news. The hopeful approval of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine will help with the state's distribution plan. But those in charge of the rollout say they still have far too few doses to vaccinate Missourians eligible for a shot. The Johnson & Johnson coronavirus vaccine is expected to receive approval from the FDA on the 26th. The vaccine only requires one dose to be administered and doesn't require the same ultra-cold storage as other vaccines. It can be kept in traditional refrigeration temperatures. Dr. Randall Williams said the low maintenance of this vaccine will help the state's vaccine distribution. We should be getting a, a fairly significant amount of the J&J &J vaccine, which as you remember is just one shot, so that doubles our capacity. The state has also seen a 5% increase in the number of Moderna vaccine doses it receives. This week, the state plans to receive 50,000 doses of Moderna and over 38,000 doses of Pfizer. Select Walmarts plan to start vaccinations on Friday. Only about 9% of Missouri's population has been vaccinated. The state currently has administered over 700,000 doses of the vaccine. Of that, almost 200,000 have received their second dose. The state still struggles with the limited supply of vaccine availability and the approval of Johnson & Johnson could make a difference in the state's distribution plan. Dr. Williams said retired health care workers will join in helping administer the vaccine along with nursing and medical students. Reporting live in the studio, I'm Victoria Bragg, ABC 17 News. Okay, thanks, Victoria.